What's up everybody, it's yours truly Fit City, and today we're gonna go over how good is Palkia in both raids, gym battles, and PvP, how to catch Palkia, and then the optimal raid counters. But first off, let's go over Palkia, its stats, okay, it comes in at just under 4000 CP, 280 attack, 215 defense, 189 stamina. 280 attack is some of the highest attack we've ever seen in Pokemon Go, so that's absolutely incredible. And its only weakness is Dragon and Fairy, because this water typing makes it different from other Dragon types. Some of the best Dragon types we have right now are both Dragon and Flying, but thankfully, because of this water typing, Ice is not super effective to Palkia, so that's pretty nice. So the stats are pretty good, the weaknesses, the resistances, they're pretty good, the double typing. Let's go ahead and dive into the moves. Now the moves are pretty good, Dragon Tail or Dragon Breath, both are equally pretty good. Dragon Tail is a little bit better in raids and gym battles, Dragon Breath is a little bit better in PvP. And then Draco Meteor is good in raids and gym battles, Hydro Pump would be good in raids and gym battles, Fire Blast has no place really at all for Palkia to be used as a move. Now as far as PvP goes, not very good. It's outclassed by Giratina, Dragonite with a legacy moveset, Rayquaza, because the fact of the matter is, Palkia only has one bar charge moves, and that's the issue. Uh, one bar charge moves don't have any place in PvP unless it's like Stone Edge or Brave Bird. Both those one bar charge moves charge up extremely, extremely fast. Uh, they have a low energy cost. So, but Draco Meteor, Hydro Pump, Fire Blast. All three of those have an extremely high energy cost to fire up in PvP, which chances are you're either A, going to be out of shields because your opponent's going to use Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw against you in Master League, or B, you're going to be dead before you can even get yours off, or C, you're going to get one off and your opponent's just going to shield it. So these moves, overall, Palki is not that great for PvP, but is a very good option in raid battles and gym battles. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the How to Catch Palkia picture, and it's a good description. At the very top there, you see the threshold line, and on the bottom left-hand corner or the bottom right-hand corner, depending if you throw counterclockwise or clockwise on your curveballs, that's how far you need to slide your finger and where you need to stop it at that threshold bar. Palkia is pretty far back there when you're trying to catch it, and you guys will definitely see that as we go at the end of the video here. I do a Palkia raid and discuss Palkia raid counters. But it is pretty far back there, you definitely have to whip it, but you don't have to slide your finger all the way across your phone screen. There is a threshold line. So I hope this helps you guys out catching more Palkia. Remember, set that circle to great or excellent. The circle can be kind of big for uh, an excellent catch. You'll see it again in the video coming up here pretty soon. But there you go guys, there you have it. Palkia in a nutshell, how good it is in PvP, raid battles, and gym battles, and how to catch Palkia every single time. Now I'm gonna leave it up with the Palkia raid counters and raid video. Enjoy the video and I'll see you guys next time. All right, so it looks like we're going in. Palkia is a, an electric and dragon type Pokemon. So it, you know, use your dragons. Dragons, especially Rayquaza, is gonna be do the most total damage possible. And then Dragonite with Dragon Tail and Outrage, Dragon Breath, Outrage, any Dragon type moveset, and any very good Dragon will definitely do the trick. It's windy, so I'm definitely going to use Dragon types. They're boosted. Um, Gardevoir, as you see, is a good one with Confusion and Dazzling Gleam. Uh, fairy types are the only ones that completely resist, like immune to Dragon type moves, but there's not that many good actual Fairy choices. The only ones are Gardevoir, Confusion, Dazzling Gleam, and then a Hidden Power Togekiss that has the dragon type hidden power with dazzling gleam other than that the dragons are looking at are definitely viable um, any dragon type moveset does a pretty good job the thing is is Palkia is going to hit hard because it's quick moves are dragon tail and dragon breath so depending on which dragon move it is it's going to hit hard it's going to hit hard here since those are going to be boosted as well um, and then its charge moves are fire blast hydro pump and draco meteor i have a feeling it has draco meteor so we might um, die out here pretty quickly, but you guys know the deal. I'll see you guys in the battle. Here we go. Palkia about to go down in three, two, one, go.
should be down in three, two, one. We hit OK. And we took it down. There we go, fam. First pocket raid down. Gardevoir is a monster. You saw it taking those hits. That was insane. Charge team, let's go. So Palkia, Palkia definitely deals the damage against the Dragon Tides, but we as Pokemon Go trainers really don't have a choice for dealing maximal damage because of that. Go Team Instinct, and uh, the 100% is 2280. What do we have here? 2786. Okay, so the max boosted is going to be uh, on the on the screen here. Um, I forgot what the max is. 2886, and the screen's pretty. Circle's pretty small, and he's way back there. So wait for the attacking animation, and we'll chuck this bad boy all the way back there. Ooh, a little, a little high, a little high. That's okay though. So the circle is extremely small. That's very interesting. Oops. Oh, a little low. It's not an easy toss, I don't think, personally. Let's try this again. Palkia. There we go, there's an excellent. You see how big the circle is? The circle is pretty big for an excellent, too. One, two, let's go, fam. Palkia is in the Pokedex. Is it any good? I don't think it is. It can be like 28 20, I think. First pocket though, it's weather boosted. And really strong. Okay, so this one's not very good, but there we have it. Pocky in the decks. It's weather boosted. I can use against other pockets now. Let's go. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Smash that like button. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys got your Pocky. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.